McCoy wins an early corner for AFC Liverpool as the snow begins to fall at Valerie Park. And it's McCoy who's taken the corner and he spotted Williams at the edge of the area. Williams first time strike finds the back of the net and AFC Liverpool take the lead after only three minutes. It's a move straight off the training ground and it's worked to perfection. And Bamba spotted McCoy in space, in behind the Daisy Hill defence. He shoots and more parries. And eventually it's scrambled clear. Andy McCoy already involved in the goal with a great opportunity to double AFC Liverpool's lead. But Moore made the save. And Gregory has broken through Davis's tackle. Willis is out quickly to close it down. And he gets hold of it at the second attempt. Paul Willis spotting the danger early when Gregory broke through. Was out quickly and made the save. And it's a ball over the top looking for Bamba. Moore comes out, smashes the ball and it bounces off Hartfield and behind for an AFC Liverpool corner. McCoy plays the corner short to Stafford who teases the Daisy Hill defence, lays it into the path of McCoy whose rocket is fisted clear by Moore and Daisy Hill clear their lines. Andy McCoy unleashing a shot from a tight angle that Moore had to react to. Davis to Stafford, back to Davis and his pawns is clear and he's robbed by Gregory. He's broke back to Stafford, he's pulled back to Willis, Gregory comes in, Willis brings him down and AFC Liverpool have gifted Daisy Hill a penalty right at the start of this second half. They just needed to hoof it into touch, they didn't and Daisy Hill could profit from it as Gregory steps up and buries it into the back of the net sending Willis the wrong way. And for the second successive game, AFC Liverpool concede within a minute of the restart. And it's Parks with the low drive that flashes past the upright. Chris Parks coming within a whisker of restoring the advantage to AFC Liverpool. Parks picks out McCoy on the edge of the area. He steps himself up for the half volley. It's blocked, it could drop for Roger Parr and Price puts it behind for a corner. And it's played short to McCoy, who's in an acre of space at the edge of the area. He crosses in and picks out a paré, but he can't quite direct his header on target. Daisy Hill didn't pick up Charlie Opari and allowed him a free header from six yards. Gaskell's header on has dropped to McNeil inside the area. And he buries it into the back of the net. And Daisy Hill, after going 1-0 down, now go 2-1 up. No one picked up McNeil when the header dropped to him. And he had all the time in the world to set his sights. Parks plays in Bamba down the right-hand side. It's faced by Hartfield. Takes it to the byline, puts in a cross which sails over Moore. And bounces off the top of the crossbar. Todd Bamba, whose crosses have been asking questions of the Daisy Hill defence all night, just didn't have luck on his side there. Torpid with a free kick, finds Parks on the edge of the area, a quick shot and turn, brings out a magnificent save from Moore. Chris Parks working on pure striking instincts there, and Scott Moore had to be at his best to deny him. Gregory on the attack for Daisy Hill. Davis closes him down and concedes the corner. Corner comes in. Headed back across the box. McNeil has a shot. It bounces around. Willis comes out. Denies Hastings. Makes a save from Gregory. The scramble clear to the edge of the area. Where Buckley has a shot. That just flashes past the upright. And the referee awards Daisy Hill a corner. So he believes Willis made the save. Though Willis denies it. But what he did do was first deny Hastings. And then save point blank from Gregory. And then when the ball fell to Buckley at the edge of the area. He had the composure to tee his shot up. And he wasn't far wide. Bamba attacking down the right hand side. Puts in a cross which is headed clear. 
back to McCoy, he finds Bamba in space, he puts in a low cross, Moore stretches out a hand, and it's just as well he did, because Thurston was ready to pounce. Scott Moore, Daisy Hill's saviour, once again, Tom Bamba put in a wicked cross, and Moore had to dive full stretch to deny Thurston. McCoy looks to play in Orm, comes back to him, Gewa sticks out a leg, Park skips past Irwin, and his low drive just agonisingly goes wide of the post, and it won't go in for AFC Liverpool. He was knocked down, fell nicely to Parks. He ghosted past Irwin, but had to watch as his shot drifted the wrong side of the upright. Price's clearance has dropped nicely for Gregory. He's broken in behind the AFC defence. And he finishes from the edge of the area into the far corner. And Daniel Gregory seals the victory for Daisy Hill. With AFC Liverpool pushed forward in search of the equaliser, the breakaway was always on. And Daniel Gregory grabs his second of the night as Daisy Hill run out winners by three goals to one.